Today's tutorial is going to cover how to manage multiple email accounts using Gmail. It's very frequently that clients will come to me and other people that are using the web that say, I have multiple email addresses that I need to funnel to one account. So for example, I have brett at ambitioninsight.com, but I also have info at ambitioninsight.com, billing at ambitioninsight.com, sales at ambitioninsight.com, and also email addresses at other websites that I manage, such as brett at websiteschool.com or brett at collegecures.com. To avoid, managing, to avoid managing all of these different email accounts in different places, I prefer to funnel all of my email directly into Gmail because I like the way that, I like the way that Google I like the way that Google Mail uh, can be managed. I like how easy it is to use, and I like the I like I ultimately like how effective it is and how on point it is every single time I need to use it. So the first step is to open up your Gmail account, and we're going to go into the settings. So go to gmail.com. At the top of every, and this is the new layout of Gmail. Um, so at the top, in the top right corner, there's this this little uh, tool circular thing that says settings. You click on that and scroll down to the settings section. Once you've clicked on the settings section, you're going to go up to the top and click on accounts and import. So right at the top of accounts and imports, you immediately see the send mail as section. As you can see, I'm sending emails as all these different email addresses. But yet again, I want to add another email address. So I go right here and click add another email address that you own. So once you click to add another email address that you own, you fill in your name. Make sure that you leave the treat as an alias box checked, unless of course you want to you want to be managing somebody else's account and not have your sent messages show up in your inbox as well. Then you plug in the email address that you're, that you're looking to add and click next for the next step. Of course, if you little if you are a little bit more advanced, you can send your your email through the through the SMTP servers on your actual website, but for most case for most cases you're going to send through Gmail as it's right just like I said, it's much easier to set up. Go ahead and click the next step button. Now after this, you have to click the send verification button. Once I click this button, what's going to happen is it's going to send an email to the email address that I just added, which in this case is info at collegecures.com. I need to make sure that that email address is forwarding to my Gmail account. So once I send this verification, that message will will show up in my inbox in the inbox of my Gmail account. So I click send verification. After I send the verification, I'm going to check the inbox of my Gmail account for a confirmation link or I can click and enter and verify the confirmation code by typing it in right here. In this case, it's much easier to just click the link, so I'm just going to do so just like I mentioned, the email just came into my inbox. Here's the code I can copy and paste and put in the window you saw before, or I can just click this simple link right here. As you can see, it was as simple as that. Now this Gmail user may now send mail as info at collegecures.com, which is not my Gmail address, obviously. So now really quickly, we're right back over to the settings page by clicking this button, as I said before. You'll see that my new email, my new email address has been added right here. And, and you'll also see that Next to each one of these emails, we have the make default link. When, what happens when you click the make default link is when you're composing a new, a new piece of email, whatever your default from sender is, which in this case is breadambitioninsight.com, that's the one that you set as your default. So if I want to send as the email address I just added, I click on this drop down here, I navigate down to the new email address that I just added, and I can send as that email. So in this case, breadambitioninsight is my default. I click on the drop down. Info at collegecures.com was my secondary. Now I can send an email to somebody else, click send, and when they reply, it will reply to info at collegecures.com. But the great thing is, is it will show up right here in my Gmail inbox along with all of the email that comes in and out for all of these other addresses. And that's how you manage multiple email accounts using a Gmail account.